there. I'm Shannon. I'm Cynthia. And we are from Country, Country. Concessions, Concessions in Cookstown, Ontario, Canada. We have a brand new store here, which uh, hopefully you'll tune in some other videos and you'll have seen. And today we're going to show you a collection of wonderful new products that we've got in. Some you'll be familiar with and some are brand new. So to start it off, I'm going to tell you about this book. It is called Scrap School. And it is a fantastic book. I had a chance to read through it and it is a bit of a read. It's got the quilt patterns in it, of course, but it also has special tips and tricks to help you when you're making scrap quilts. It's got full color pictures and it has um, suggestions of different colorways when you're making your scrap quilts, what works together and what doesn't really work together. And she's even got, I'm trying to find, I can't find the page, but she'll show you a quilt in one color and then she'll give you another color option. So sometimes when you see a quilt, you can't picture it in the scraps that you have, but she gives you a few color options so you can see all of the different um, possibilities that you can do with all of your scraps. It's, um, as I said, there's 12 patterns in here and they are by some pretty big name designers. So the author of the book is Lissa Alexander, but she's got um, Gudrun Elrla in here and she's got Kim Deal and a few others. So have a look at the book. You can find it on our website as with all of our products at countryconcessions.com. Looks pretty nice. I think I need to get one of those. Oh, that's right. Um, and the next thing that we have to talk to you about is Karen K. Buckley's Perfect Scissors. These are truly the best scissors going. I have two different pairs at home. We have small, medium, and large sizes available. Uh, they all are basically the same principles, uh, just different sizes. So I'm just going to take out the little guy here. And... Uh, what is really nice about this, lots and lots of great features. It comes to an extremely sharp point, as you can see there. So it's great for snipping off your threads, but trimming uh, applique pieces, getting into those corners to clip seams, anything like that that you need to do, you can get in there. The, uh, the neat thing about these is the blade actually has a very uh, fine micro serration along the inside edges of the blades. When you are taking a cut into fabric, and the, the uh, blades of the scissors are smooth, the natural resistance against the fabric, it pushes the fabric out of the scissor blade just fractionally as you're snipping down. The micro serration actually grips that fabric and pulls it into the blade. So it allows you to snip much more precisely than you would be able to with a smooth blade. Um, the um, handles are rubber coated and they've got a nice big handle so you can get your um, fingers and thumb in there really, really easily. Great for both either right or left handed. And each of them comes with a little um, tip cover. It's also called just, a lifesaver. It, it is, it just snaps on there, saves your points from getting damaged. It also saves you from getting damaged should you reach into your bag to get your scissors because that is a sharp point and you don't want to be hurting yourself. So this is the small size. The medium size is great uh, for multi-purpose. And the large size is awesome if you want to actually use it for cutting fabric or any other uh, purposes such as that. So super set of, of scissors and they're also on our website. They are. Okay, next up we're going to talk about this little guy here. This is called the Quick Ripper. It is an electric seam ripper. And at first you think, oh, what do I need an electric seam ripper for? But once you try this, you will never, ever grab your regular seam ripper again. So, um... It does not cut your fabric if you're worried about that. that. That is not a possibility. It takes one little battery to go in there and do it. Not sure how well you're going to be able to see this online, but we do have a separate video near the beginning of our videos on this YouTube channel that will show you how easily it works. Um, it's called the Quick Ripper, but we've nicknamed him Jack the Ripper. Yes, affectionately calls, where's we just, Jack? We just call him Jack. <laughs> so I'm going to see if I can make it so you guys can see this. So you just turn it on and you run it along your seam and it comes apart lickety split. It's actually working pretty well on the table. Works well any, really any flat surface. And you're done. It's just that easy to come apart. As I said, it will not cut your fabric. You're not gonna worry about, you know, slicing anything that you've got on there. It has a little brush to clean it out. That you can just get rid of some of the little bits in there. And it does have a, a blade cover, although I'm not entirely sure why, unless it's to protect it from, you know, dulling. So that is Jack the quick ripper awesome okay i i'm just trying to pick what i'm going to talk about next this is a base a spray base called perfect based 
Uh, a lot of you may have tried it. It's a relatively new product, maybe five years or something like that. Um, we have always carried 505. We still have that. The Perfect Base is a bit different um, in its uh, manner of application. It's a higher viscosity um, product that is sprayed out. So when you're using something like a 505, it comes out as a, a very fine mist. You can spray your, your back of your quilt, but you tend to get a bit of overspray. You also get a lot of spray released into the atmosphere. So for those of you with allergies or any issues with uh, breathing in scents or chemicals, uh, it can be a bit of a problem. And uh, so in a confined space, it's not so nice. Um, also, it tends to overspray, so you would have to protect your floor or your table or your bed or whatever you're piecing, putting your quilt together to stop that spray going over the sides of the quilt. So when you spray the perfect base, it comes out almost more like a spider's web. So you can actually see the spray come out and fall onto the, the quilt surface. Uh, so it's much easier to be accurate. There's a lot less overspray. There's a lot less uh, spray released into the atmosphere. So we've um, it has a very, very slight scent, but it's certainly not strong. You would still possibly want to do it in a well-ventilated area, but you're not going to have the same uh, susceptibility to chemical spray and smells as you do with the other sprays. So it's a really, really great product. Um, you waste less because it is going where you want it to go. It's not spreading all around in the atmosphere. So well worth a try. Um, and the spray can goes a long way because you are not wasting too much. So perfect base and you'll find that on our website as well. Okay, next up we have these fantastic, beautiful, colorful coasters. I'm not sure how well you can see that. I can't see it very well from where I'm sitting, but <laughs> if you zoom in or make your screen larger, you'll be able to see it. These are ceramic coasters. They're used with Laurel Birch designs. She was a fantastic artist, and then she segued over into fabric and other things of that nature. So we've we've still got um, her artwork coming out in different forms. And as I said, they've made coasters from them. There's cork on the back, and then there's ceramic on the front. So we've got the, the bird design. We've got these awesome indigo cats. We have a sun and the moon. I think that one is called Monarch. Oh no, it's called Fantastic Cats. Not sure why that's called Fantastic Cats, but <laughs> that's what it's called. <laughs> oh, we've got the co the tags mixed up. This it's, one is called Sister Sun and Brother Moon. So obviously this is been, more cats. Yes. This is Fantastic Cats and this is Sister Sun and Brother Moon. So again, these are all on our website at countryconcessions.com. They're awesome. I they don't are. know which I choose. I like, I'm one, partial to cats. Two, yes. You can get a whole set. Now, this is new to us. This has been, this is called Die Catcher. This is a box full of what looks like uh, dryer sheets, but they're actually to go in your washer. And these have been available, um, they were available in the States for a long time and we couldn't get them and now we can get them. We can. And these are just crazy. We get them in and they're out of stock just like that. Um, so they look like dryer sheets, but they are actually a sheet which will uh, grab the dye out of the wash water. So if you have a fabric that may run, you're using, you know, you've got a red and white quilt going on or something like that, or you're using batiks, anything where you might ha be, uh, have a chance to have the fabric run, you throw one of these in the wash water. Um, and you can do this with commercial clothing as well, obviously. Um, and it is incredible, the, the dye that is trapped in that, uh, in that sheet. Uh, they really do work as a dye catcher. They are amazing. Um, you have got 20 sheets in the box, so it's gonna last you quite a while. Um, can't recommend them highly enough. So that is absolutely something you should give a try. I use them for most of my loads of laundry now, well, just to and, be yeah, on the safe yeah, side. Yeah, anytime. They're great, and they always come out different color than they went in. <laughs> than they went in. Yeah, exactly. So the next product we have to tell you about today is called Magna Fingers. I find this to be really interesting because they are um, 3D printed. It's just cool. Like someone just programs it in and out it comes in. It's incredible. I know. I just, I've never seen 3D printing happen. I'd love to see it in action. I but. think it'd be cool. So it's a Magna Finger. What it is is a very powerful magnet and it helps if you um, have dropped some pins on the floor as we all tend to do from time to time, a box of pins or if you knock over your um, pin bowl and pins go everywhere. 
this little guy, you come along, I think you can see I've got pins on the bottom of this coaster and it just picks them up. No, I dropped one. So the magnet picks it up and then you've got them all, but you want to put them back into your pin box now. So you simply lift up, pinch together. It's like a closed pin. I'll do it close by because I don't have much room there. I worked out well. And you push to release the pin. So you pick them up, move them to where you want to be, get them off the floor, whatever needs to be done. And then you can put them back in your pin bowl just by squeezing it together. So it's a, it's a great little gadget to have at your disposal. Okay, now the next thing I got to show you is just for fun. I don't know about you guys, but I love doing jigsaw puzzles. And I love doing jigsaw puzzles in summer when we are relaxing, which doesn't happen that often, yeah, but it's really true. a nice thing to pull out when we are. And I love puzzles in the winter when I'm shutting the house a little bit more. So this is a really fun puzzle. This one is from a, a fabric designer called Camille Ruskelli. You may have heard of Bonnie and Camille. So this is Camille. So this is a really, really cool jigsaw puzzle with all sorts of quilting motifs. So this one is a lot of fun. It's a thousand piece puzzle. And then we have another puzzle. This is also a thousand piece puzzle. And this is a, a sort of more Amish barn kind of um, puzzle with lots of quilts and the uh, old fashioned uh, horse and buggy and everything else in there. So two really, really fun puzzles for the summer. So limited quantities on these. So you'll want to order that pretty fast. Yes. If you want to get one. Yeah, absolutely. All right, now we have some um, quilts to show you, actual yeah. quilts that we have kits for all of them. So the camera work might get a little sloppy here. We apologize for that, but we're gonna move you around a little okay, bit to so see the different quilts. We're getting out. Yes, yeah, so bear with we'll us here. Go on the, the quilt tour. So to start with, okay, the one we're looking at first is the one that is right behind where we are sitting. Shannon's gonna be the, the cameraman. So, so this, this is called Waterfall. And it is a fabric collection called Aquarelle from uh, our gallery fabrics. Moving closer. If you yep, I'll get out of the way side. so you can see the beautiful fabrics in there. And this is a big quilt. Piecing. It is 98 by 98. It's fantastic. So it's an awesome size for uh, a queen bed. And then we've got the kit is right here. We've got all those beautiful fabrics in there. And um, that's our first quilt. It is. The second yeah. one is called Tidal Pool or Tide Pool? Tidal, tidal Wave, pool. Tidal Pool. I can never remember what it's called, but it is called it. Tidal Pool. It is made out of linen tea toweling or cotton linen, I guess it is. And there it is. You can see it there. It's also a very large quilt. It is. It is 84 by 100. 84 by 100, so it's a good size. And as I said, it's made out of linen, so it's it's just so nice. And when it washes, we saw a version of it washed. It is soft and supple and beautiful. There's the okay, kit there. there's the kit. A little hard to see. It is hard to see the shiny plastic. But, okay. Um, another gorgeous. So that kit. is Tidal Quilt Kit. Okay. Next we have... This next one I'm going to show you is called Postcards from Sweden. It is actually Cynthia's birthday quilt. Cynthia and I have some big birthdays this year, so we picked some quilts and did some kits. And you'll be able to see, this is called Postcards from Sweden. And it is just beautiful. This is wonderful. Had to be my birthday quilt because it's been one of my favorite ones and it was on my bucket list. So, so it's hard um, to see in our little confined space it's here. It's all done in uh, Kona cotton. Solids solids um, in a myriad of bright and beautiful colors. It's a really fun quilt. And again, everything we're talking about is on our website. And postcards, I can't remember the size, but I think it was about 60 by 75. This next one, I always forget the name of it. I forget Happy if it's Town. called Happy Town or Happy Place, but I absolutely love the quilt. It, it could be a lap quilt or it could be a wall hanging. I think it would do well for both of those things. And I just really like it. I'll try to get in a little closer so you can see the fabrics better. You can see the center is made from a panel. You're not piecing all those houses. And then all the different stars around the outside are made from different fabrics. I think it's just great. And then this is maybe our the favorite one. This one is called Bzzz, B Z Z Z Z Z. And it's the Bzzz mini quilt. And this is such a fun quilt. I'm going to come a little bit closer. So you can see the piecing. This is just the neatest quilt. We absolutely love it. Um, this is just a top, but we've seen it quilted and it's just spectacular. 
so we've got the kits on our website at countryconcessions.com so thank you for joining us today for our notion commotion thank and you and we'll see you in the store one of these days okay take care bye-bye